I like to do is just make sure that my feet, when they're separate, they're in line with each other. And I have a really wide stance. So it is a hip hinge movement, meaning that if your feet are gonna stay apart, you're going to want to release your hips back. Your torso does come forward. You just don't wanna round your back. So you want your back nice and flat, your shoulder blades tight, and your gaze to stay in front. So you don't really wanna drop the chin too much. Um, so the starting off point would be just bend one knee at a time, allow the hips to come back, <clears throat> and then kind of think about driving your foot through the floor as you engage your glutes to stand up. So that's kind of the first option. Um, then secondly, I would try it where you start with your feet together, you step out to the side, you allow the hips to travel back, back stays nice and flat, um, and then you push off the ground and step your feet together, again, kind of engaging your glutes. So from the side, feet together, step out, and it's kind of, it's one fluid motion. So as you step out, you allow your torso to come forward, your hips go back. There's a little bit of a bend in my knee, but it shouldn't be like torso upright, knee really traveling forward. So it's kind of like your hips go back, your torso comes flat, almost parallel to the ground, everybody's range of motion is different. Then I'm gonna drive this foot through the floor and really squeeze to stand up. And you get a nice stretch in your inside thighs, just make sure you're stepping out wide enough. He does it with a kettlebell in the video. Usually when I do these, I have a dumbbell in each hand. I think you could do it either way, whatever's most comfortable for you. Um, normally what I do, I'm gonna switch to my, my other side now. I step out and I allow one dumbbell on either side of my leg. And then I push off and I bring my dumbbells back to my side. So from the side, starting up nice and tall, stepping out, one dumbbell on either side, back nice and flat, not too much bend in the knee, pushing that, this is my right foot, through the floor, squeezing as I stand up. So I have a 20 in each hand, this is challenging for me. So again, just to kind of show you, push up. And I would do all the reps on one side first, and then all the reps on the next.